Hi there, in this video, we will talk about adding similar and dissimilar fractions, with regrouping. If you haven't watched yet my previous video, which is adding fractions without regrouping, you might want to watch it first before this. The link is in the description below. If you're ready, we can now start. First, you have to remember that we do regrouping when adding fractions. If the result of adding two or more fractions is an improper fraction, now, let us recall that an improper fraction has a numerator greater than its denominator, just like this fraction, 10 sevenths. So how is regrouping done? Let's have our first example. 4 eighths plus 5 eighths, equals n. Remember, in adding similar fraction, we add the numerators, and copy the common denominator. So, 4 plus 5, equals 9. Then, copy 8. As you can see, our answer is an improper fraction, so, we regroup it by changing it into a mixed number. Let us divide the numerator by the denominator. That will give us 9 divided by 8 is 1. And 1 times 8 is 8. Giving us a remainder of 1. Therefore, 9 eighths is rewritten as 1 and 1 eighth. Since, 1 and 8 have no common factor other than 1 then our answer is already in its simplest form. Let's try another one. This time, we have 1 and 2 thirds, and 2 and 2 thirds. Since the given numbers have similar fractions, let us add first the numerators. 2 plus 2 is 4. Then, copy the common denominator, which is 3. 4 thirds is an improper fraction. So, we have to regroup it first. 4 divided by 3 is 1 and 1 times 3 is 3, that gives us a remainder of 1. Now, let us rewrite 4 thirds into 1 and 1 third. We can now add the whole numbers. 1 plus 2 is 3. Now, remember when we regrouped 4 thirds, we got a 1 whole. So, this whole should also be added to this whole. Thus, we have 4 and 1 third, and this is already in its simplest form. Next, we have 3 fourths plus 2 thirds, equals n. These fractions are dissimilar so let's change these first into similar fractions using the butterfly method. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 2 is 8. And, 4 times 3 is 12. So, our new fractions now are 9 twelfths and 8 twelfths. We can now proceed to addition. 9 plus 8 is 17, then we copy the common denominator which is 12, 17 twelfths is an improper fraction, so we have to regroup. 17 divided by 12 is 1, 1 times 12 is 12, 17 minus 12 is 5, therefore, we have, 1 and 5 twelfths. 5 and 12 have no common factor other than 1, so our answer is already in its simplest form. For our last example, let's have 2 and 5 sixths plus 3 and 7 ninths. First, let us set aside the whole numbers so we can change these fractions into similar fractions using the butterfly method. 9 times 5 is 45. 6 times 7 is 42. And, 6 times 9 is 54. So, 5 sixths and 7 ninths will now be 45 over 54 and 42 over 54, respectively. Don't forget to bring back the whole numbers we set aside earlier. Now, we can start adding, 45 plus 42 is 87. Then, copy the common denominator, 54. We're almost done. Now. Let's regroup 87 over 54. 87 divided by 54 is 1. 1 times 54 is 54. And 87 minus 54 is 33. So, we have 1 and 33 over 54. Next, let's add the whole. 2 plus 3 is 5. Plus this other whole here. 1 plus 5, is 6. So we'll have 6 and 33 over 54. Finally, let us simplify our answer. 33 and 54 are both divisible by 3. 
33 divided by 3 is 11, and 54 divided by 3 is 18. And since the only common factor of 11 and 18 is 1, then, 33 over 54 is simplified as 11 eighteenths. Thus, the final answer is 6 and 11 eighteenths. See you again next time.